got stuck out on the truck, but at least I ain't gonna stall. Mr. Food Line and Mr. Freight Line will make sure I get something to eat. And you might be thinking, well, he didn't get to wash it off. Yes, I did. I don't eat nothing nasty. These chef homes just the job done. Got my onions in there. Got my steak. Ribeye. What is a steak? Without mushrooms, I always cook a lot since it's nighttime. That way, tomorrow I have plenty for breakfast. Got all kind of seasons in my pantry, too. Things that I got, this is one of my favorites. Keeping it simple, and they really make it jump off. Gotta add some rice to in there. That'll really jump it off. Let it go, got it go summer. Now I put the lid on it, let it do its thing for the next 15, 20 minutes. Junk in here right now because I got stuff through out everywhere, digging my pots out. But if you're wondering, that fool sitting on the truck, closed in, smelling gas from that tank, that's a one pound propane tank, lifesaver. And now I got the front one to open, got the AC blasting. And I got both windows on both sides back here in the sleeper all open. So I'm good. Well, it's actually been about 35 minutes because I was watching something on YouTube. But as you can see, look at the air, look at the air. That steak's nice and tent, look at the air. Covered it, simmered it, so that steak would be real tender. Got the mushrooms, got the onions, left a half a stick of butter in there, and gave it some seasoning. You won't get nothing in no truck stop like that. The only thing I go in the truck stop for is the bathroom. I even got my own shower in the truck. And so this is what you have to do. Look at how good that looks. You don't have to ever worry about eating that junk they got in the truck stops. If you're smart, to the loop. <laughs>